Hey pretties, welcome back to my channel. Sorry if my voice is pretty low. I have short throat, so I'm trying really hard to just make a video for you guys and have it produced today. Now here's my hairstylist just blending my color in. I'm pretty sure she used honey brown and fruit punch and just mix them together. So that's what she just did here. She did the watercolor method. First she was testing it out, making sure it's the color that she wanted. And then took a strand of hair because on a paper towel and the hair it shows a huge difference. And now she's just ducking it in, you know, just getting every strand, just like a regular watercolor method. If you guys want to see how to do that, just look at my channel or just look it up. It's pretty self-explanatory. It's super easy. So if you guys saw videos like this before, you guys already know the process. First, she puts the wig cap down, then she sprays it with the free spray from Got To Be. And yeah, we just wait for it to dry with the hair dryer. And once that's done, she's just going to cut around to get the access of the wig cap off that she doesn't really need because we don't need that. So, as you guys could see, now it's time to match the makeup with my skin color. So, this could help you make the scalp illusion that you want because everybody wants a scalp illusion. We want to like our scalp. And this is the secret behind it. Once you match it and put it on your wig cap, it will look realistic. So now it's time to install the wig and work with it and everything. First she's trying to like, you know, shape it with my head and just cut around the ears because you don't want the lace around your ears. That is super, super irritating and it can really irritate behind your ears. So make sure you don't have lace behind your ears. Now for glue, she's using Bold Hold. Last time I said Bond Hold, never was on me like it wasn't that serious. It was a mistake. I don't really use glue like this. I just use Got To Be Glue if you guys watch me install my wigs on my own. So that's why I didn't know the name correctly. So be gentle on me, guys. I'm still learning myself. But now she's just like pressing it down with a comb to make sure that it blends in very, very, very seamlessly. And you really don't see lace. <laughs> So I basically wanted a side part and she's just making sure that it's molded into place. I wanted a deep side part. I haven't had that in a while so I wanted to bring that back for me. So that's basically what she's trying to do, making sure that it's molded and sitting really nice and flat. So for the molding process, she just used like a beeswax stick, I'm pretty sure it's from Amazon, it's like $10, and also a hot comb, so it will lay down really flat, and also put the head wrap around my edges, so when she starts the styling process, they won't lift. Now one of my favorite things that she does is the plucking. She does it like so well. It looks so easy and she makes it look like my scalp, like the part is always, always neat and straight and perfect. Now she does curls so well, so that's what I wanted today. I wanted her to style my hair like in a body wave, like body texture type of curls. I don't really know how to explain it, but that's basically what she was doing.
Next, to keep the curls in place and so that they won't fall, she sprayed Got To Be Free spray and also she combed it out to give it more definition, and have more volume and just make them looser curls because that's what I basically wanted. Now next step is the baby hairs which is one of my favorite parts as well but also it didn't really matter because the hair is like just like my skin tone so you're going to be able to see it anyways. So like a lot of people when they saw my hair they was like where's your baby hairs like you know her Instagram page and I was just like it's there. It's just super light because it also matches my skin super well. But she still added baby hairs regardless so as you guys can see that's what she was doing. And it still turned out good it's just that you can't really see unless you look up close at my head. All right, guys, so this is basically the finishing product. I decided to do a little slow-mo for you guys. And also, she's just going to add mousse and do my other baby gears, but this is basically how it turned out. The curls are super bouncy. I love the definition. As you guys can see, she always hypes me up every single time. We always take a thousand bomb pictures. It's always a good vibe at the end of my session with hair. Alright guys, so here's the finishing look. Oh, whatever. I love it. It's super cute. I love it. <clears throat> yeah, I really can't see the true color. I'm not even going to hold y'all. It's like not this color at all. It's like this. You still don't see Whatever. Whatever. This is not the true color. It's like a rose gold, but you guys can't see that. Like, me and my hairstylist was over here, like, laughing because he was like, yo, it doesn't even show up the real color. It shows up, like, brown, orange, whatever. But anyways, I love this hair color. My hairstylist always does a bomb job. Like, this is definitely my hair. I dyed it. No, I'm just playing. No, I'm just playing, but I love this hair. The hair is, like, <clears throat> soft, you know? I could tell that's gonna, like, probably get a little tangly like it is right now a little bit hard after a while like how all blonde hair gets so but honestly it was super soft when she blow drying and stuff which does not always happen when i get blonde hair so yeah i know i'm not gonna have this hair in too long maybe just for like this week <laughs> and i'm gonna take it out next week so yeah because there's no school today today is monday and tomorrow i don't have no school either so i'm probably only gonna have it for wednesday thursday and friday which is three days that my school's gonna see it. So like five days basically, cause Saturday and Sunday. And then, yeah. All right guys, so the hair is from Arabella. Arabella? Ariana, no, I'm just kidding. Arabella. I probably took this in the voice over, but listen, it's from there. This is 22 inches, so we love that. It's like a good length. I usually get 24 and up, but it's okay. And here's the wig cap. Obviously, my skin tone looks just good, but my hairstyle don't even use it. They also gave me a rat tail comb, which I love, so I'm going to be using that. And this wig cap, of course. They also give you human hair wigs maintenance tips, so stuff to help you with maintaining your hair. And lastly, which is like what I was excited about, <laughs> is the freaking, they, brought, they gave me hair clips. Like, I freaking love hair clips. I already have some, but 
I love hair clips, okay? So these are the hoodies. I don't know which ones these are. Could they be like alligator, like all these other things? I do wish I could see a full color, but ah! it's so cute. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just so sorry. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> yes. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for my videos. Oh, wow. And I will see you guys in my next video. Don't mind my nails, alright? Because they look crazy. I'm going to get them done like in probably two weeks. Even though I should get them done now. But like, she's booked, so. Okay. See you guys in my next video. Bye, Breeze. Mwah. <laughs> Bye, Breeze.